Hi there, grandkids. Today we're going to read To Bed or Else. Looks like somebody's in trouble, and I wonder what or else means. Let's read and find out. Asha and Hannah lived next door to each other. They were the best of friends. They shared their birthdays, their books, and even some of their toys. Most of the time. Their moms were also friends, and they shared too. They shared their children. If Hannah's mom had to go out in the evening, Hannah stayed with Asha. And if Asha's mom had to work late, Asha moved in with just a few of her things to stay at Hannah's. But the more they were together, the noisier they would be. And one night, Hannah's mom just couldn't get them to bed. She read them a story, then another, and another. She sang bedtime songs and made shadows on the wall. Still, they would not sleep. Then she got very angry. That's it, she shouted. By the time I count to three, you two will be in bed and asleep or else. Or else what? Asked Asha and Hannah together. One, yelled Hannah's mom, heading for the kitchen. What happens when she gets to or else, Hannah? Well, she might shout some more, said Hannah. But what if she does something worse, asked Asha. Like put us out for the garbage collector. Or what if she gave all your toys to a rummage sale? Two, they heard Hannah's mom call from the kitchen. Maybe she would never, ever buy us ice cream again. And make us take horrible medicine instead. Hannah, she might turn us into frogs. Two and a half. What if she baked us in a pie like blackbirds and served us for dinner? She wouldn't, would she? She couldn't, wailed Hannah. But she might worried Asha. Hannah, I'm scared. I don't think I want to find what or else means. Me neither, said Hannah. Let's go to sleep fast. Yes, let's. And believe it or not, they did. Thank goodness, thought Hannah's mom as she cleaned up the mess and tucked them in. I just don't know what I would have done if they hadn't gone to sleep.
Hope you enjoyed to bed or else. And I hope you always go to bed when you're told. I love you guys. Bye-bye.